Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos on tech or tips just like this one. So today I have a tips video for you. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm going to be assisting you with trying to get around this fingerprint issue that is well known among the Google Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 Pro. So um, mine, I'd say works around like 60% of the time. Let's see if I can get it open now. So yeah, you can see already not recognized the second one went in. Let me just try it a few more times. That time it went in. That time it went in. That time it went in, but that time it did not. So yeah, most of and it didn't go in again. So um, yeah, I actually added like two of the same fingers. I added my right thumb twice and my left thumb twice, but it's still not like working as it should, in my opinion. Um, if you have a finger print scanner, it should be working like at least 95% of the time. I'm getting like close to 60% of the time. Um, and I just don't like the fact that like sometimes it works when your finger's at a different angle. I feel like you shouldn't have to think about unlocking your device. You should just be able to do it. So that's my issue with like the fingerprint scanner on the pixel 6 pro that i have but i did find a workaround thanks to my good friend ike from ike's tech talk i will leave a uh, link to his channel in my description and that um alternative is called smart lock so basically smart lock is a um option in which you can um unlock your have your device always unlock under certain scenarios so um to uh, activate that you just go to your settings you scroll down to security you scroll all the way down to advanced and then you want to hit smart lock and then you want to put your manual pin in there let me do that really quickly so once you do that um you'll have these three options for smart lock so basically uh, the on body detection this will activate after you unlock your device it stays unlocked while it's in motion like when you're walking with it your device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down so if you're working out or something, you can like unlock it and it will stay unlocked as long as you're like continuing to work out. Um, the next one is trusted places. So you can add a location such as your work or home address and it will always unlock um, automatically when you're um, connected to that home or work or whatever address that you want to add to those trusted places. My favorite one personally is this, the trusted devices. Um, you can enable Bluetooth devices. Um, so when your phone is connected to a specific Bluetooth device, it will always unlock just fine. Um, I like to add the device that I have right now, which is the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, my smartwatch. So as long as I'm connected to my uh, watch, um, this will unlock automatically. And I do tend to enable my location one as well, but I just didn't want to show you guys my address because it just shows by default so um yeah this is the smart lock and as you can see since i'm connected to my galaxy watch i do not get the option for the fingerprint scanner anymore it's just like automatically unlocked so i just swipe up and i'm at my home screen and there it is so you can see it again it's automatically unlocked so yeah that was just a quick tips and tricks video i highly suggest enabling smart lock if you have um, issues with your fingerprint scanner such as I do it's a very good alternative so um, you can connect it to your devices or your location so whenever you're connected to those devices or location your phone will just like automatically unlock so yeah if you have any questions about smart lock feel free to leave them in the comments and again thanks for watching this video